Welcome to Inside Sim Racing for the February 13th edition. I'm Sean Cole. And I'm Darren Ganji, and thanks for joining us. And speaking of thanks for joining us, thanks for everybody out there for the support that we've, uh, we've been receiving, you know, especially on our trip. And I uh, met up with some, uh, some fans of the show. Uh, Greg Miles was one, and I yeah. forgot the name of the other guy who worked, actually, at the Daytona, um, at the Richard Petty Experience. Right, right, yeah, quite a few people, and uh, obviously we're back from Daytona. Yeah, had a, man, what an incredible time, and we have some great stories to tell you guys. Uh, but we're going to tease you a little bit today, and then uh, we got two you know, pretty big segments that are going to come out here pretty soon. Yeah, a little too much for just another uh, inside sim racing. Yeah, no doubt. I bet uh, we're going to show you some, uh, some shots from our, uh, from our trip just to keep it tied over until uh, we come out with that. Where are you at, Sean? <laughs> we're walking down pit lane right before the start of the arc of the Daytona Let's get off. We won't get in trouble. A minute before they throw us out of here. Uh, and again, what a great time we had. And oh, man. Definitely got to thank the Sim Factory guys because they hooked us up. Yeah, before we do, actually, before we get to that, Sean, uh, uh, we're working, just to let you guys know, we're working on the Track IR review and uh, Sean's racing rig, and yeah. those segments are going to be coming out soon. Got a little bit behind. We got stuck in Daytona, actually, an extra day. But, <laughs> Whole story uh, in its own. Yeah, no doubt. But uh, back here safe in uh, California in our studio and uh, ready to bring another week in uh, Sim Racing. So, yeah, let's uh, tell them about a little bit about our adventure and want to start, like like Sean said, thank the Sim Factory. Those guys are incredible. Man, yeah. what a great bunch of guys. Yeah, and the Arca Remax series, too. We're talking real life, and uh, that series and the people, uh, they're just, I mean, they, they did everything, provide us everything to give us the best opportunity. Opened up there. their, you know, opened up, you know, welcomed us with open arms, and, man, we had carte blanche at the track, you know. Thumbs up. Oh, no, no. <laughs> Well, sure well Arca was running at least. We won't get into <laughs> that right now. But uh, great, but great people, and we felt like we were part of the Arca family and the yeah. Sim Factory family, no doubt. Like, yeah. you know, we've been telling everybody, man, we have five new best friends. Yeah, absolutely. So, uh, yeah, and speaking of which, you know, Sim Factory, you know, they're talking about, you know, they're really bridging the gap. Bridging the gap. That's what they do, and we got a, a first-hand look at just how they do it. We got went to their office, so to speak. Yeah, and that's going to be one of our segments. It's about how they're bridging the gap, and then it's also going to be about how they got started and uh, where they're at today, and uh, you know where they're going, man. They're you know going to be the number one stock car sim out there. Yeah, and after we've fully gone in great detail with the Sim Factory, we're going to do a segment about our entire adventure and the five days that Darren and I spent in Florida. And you guys won't believe the stuff that we did, man. <laughs> Sim racers and real racing fans dream. I mean, we just had an incredible time. And yeah. again, thanks to the Sim Factory and the Arca Series and just everybody, you know, everybody that we uh, met and met some cool sim racers. Neves. Neves, yeah, Neves is a great guy. Yeah. <laughs> Chad and JT. So yeah. had a great time with all those guys, and we'll tell you the whole story coming up here pretty soon. Looking forward to those. Mm hmm. So, uh, man. Sean, something you're looking right. forward to, bud. All right. I'm a little biased when it comes to this one. I've done my share of karting. And uh, machine simula sim machine simulations? No, it's cart sim by machine simulations. There you uh, go. I've been talking to the guy Zach over there. That uh, I believe he's the head of their development. And man, check out these screenshots we got. Man, this this is looking really awesome. Especially if you guys are any any cart racers out there. I'm sure we have some. I mean, looking at the track. I mean, again, I would look that and say, come on, tell me that's not a real photo. Oh, I know. I, Sean couldn't believe that those were. Uh, Real photos. He actually, Zach sent me a picture of the cart that we can't show yet. I told him it looked awesome, but he didn't want to show it. He's looking for, for complete perfection. By the way, these track pictures, everything is movable, destroyable. Yeah. So Zach was telling me after a good run, there's some... Uh, it's a, like Carnage? A, looks like a bomb went <laughs> off, he said. So that's pretty cool. So stay, uh, stay tuned here on SRT for more on that. We'll uh, definitely have some you know, breaking news here when it, when it comes out. All right. Speaking of mind-blowing, we have another total mind-blow. Hydroplane mod, man. We, you know, I've been talking to Scott Prisbilski, a good buddy of ours. He's uh, he did the live timing and scoring for uh, SSCA, and uh, you know he's been working on this hydroplane mod. And we've taken a look at it; it looked cool. But man, you guys got to check out this race, man. He, these <laughs> things are really cool. Yeah, I had no idea the evolution of this mod would lead to this. Cause is it our factor? I, I mean, <laughs> look at the rooster tails these things are kicking up, man. It's just amazing. You can go to. Uh, UHL.exploding-banana.com, and I know it's kind of a trippy website address. That's Scott's uh, his little homepage, but then go to the forums and uh, check it out. You can download the mod and check out that video, man. That we've got, you know, some pieces playing here. Uh, it, it is just amazing, really yeah. cool stuff. And they got a uh, 
a real life commentator. Uh, I'm sorry, I don't have his name right here, but uh, doing the commentation on yeah. it, it's, it's really cool. The stuff. real deal, a pro guy doing it, and you can tell the minute he starts talking. So again, you know, go to uhl.exploding-banana.com, check it out, and. You guys will be up there kicking up some rooster tails. Right on. Well, we got a lot more to cover today, but we definitely got to pay some bills. So we're going to take a quick commercial break, and we'll be back with more SRT. How you doing? I'm Mike, this is Mark, we're from the Simp Factory. We're at Daytona, you're watching SRT. Welcome back to this edition of Inside Sim Racing, I'm Darren Ganji, and uh, got the uh, Grandad Mod update for you guys. Uh, the physics are uh, continually being updated, and Dave Henry is... Uh, taking some input from Alex Gurney. Yeah, and they uh, did a whole lot of testing when they were at Daytona for the Rolex event, and using some of that feedback, they are tweaking that thing out. Yeah, no doubt, and uh, getting that thing dialed in. They uh, increased the uh, top end speed on the straights and slowed it down on the corners a little bit based on Alex's uh, input, so we'll be keeping you posted here. They're taking their time with it, and I, that's definitely the way to go. They want to make sure it's, it's polished before it gets out to you guys, and uh, I'm going to be helping them doing some more testing if I have to find the time, man. We are swamped here coming up, but uh, hoping to get out there and run some laps. Actually, we're going to be over with Chris, uh, CXC Simulations. Doing some head-to-head -head racing. Yeah, so, uh, Sean, you haven't even tested the Grand Am mod yet, have you? Uh, no, I haven't. So Not at, no, no. You'll get to give it a shot at Daytona coming up here, so. Yeah. But you can't ask for a better driver than uh, Alex Gurney to test that mod. No doubt. Huh? Finished second at the 24. Yeah, so. real deal. Yeah, that's going to be Again, great. Again, that's sort of going back to bridging the gap, too, huh? Getting yeah. some feedback from real drivers, making the sim as accurate as possible. Yep, yeah, no question, man. Uh, so as soon as they uh, have more updates, we'll let you know here on SRT. And then we got some Live for Speed news as well. Over at uh, Loda, the League of Americas, Nolan Scott of Core Racing, he took the Formula BMW Championship Winter League Championship over Samard and Hall. Yeah, and uh, they're running that new uh, BMW car that... Uh, was released in the Y patch and they ran a little mini season, four races, four events. And to see more of uh, League of the Americas, go over to lfs.loda.net. Great, yeah. great bunch of, they have a lot of racing going on over yeah, there. So. Great series and league over there. Yeah, really polished up web website and cool stuff going on over nice. there. So we got a little more going on with R Factor, at least a little more eye candy from R Factor, huh? Yeah, we had the uh, uh, R Factor 2007 video review contest is uh, now. Uh, completed and uh, this guy Augustus man this check out this uh, go to R Factor Central you can check out the right on their homepage there they got yeah. a, a link to check out the uh, the three different videos but man that yeah. a, Augustus video called Four Seasons really yeah. nicely done absolutely perfect kind of video I mean a, a great demonstration of R Factor and all it had to offer last year yeah and they also have the second and third place uh, uh, videos as well so. right right and they're up on YouTube so you can check those out so uh, I think that's about it for this this episode, huh, Sean? Yeah, everybody, stay tuned. We're gonna have that track IR review as well as the racing rig, my racing rig Sean's episode. Racing rig. And after that, lots of great stuff. We've got the uh, the Arca stores we talked to you guys about. Uh, man, we're going we're we're going all over the place. So yeah. uh, stay tuned on SRT. Thanks you all. Thanks to everybody for uh, watching and, and continuing to support us. And we'll see you guys next week. All right. I'm Darren Ganji. Sean Cole for Sim Racing tonight. See you guys later.